of sustainability, right? So, <coughs> millet use very, as I mentioned earlier, require very little water. In a water, water scarce country like ours, where the, we always have, um, you know, uh, tensions about water usage, water sharing, um, there cannot be a better crop than millets in, when it comes to water usage efficiency and sustainability. Millets don't require any chemical sprays at all, at all. At all. I'm a millet grower, so I can tell you for sure we don't use any chemical sprays. They require about 25 30 percent of the chemical fertilizers we use for rice or wheat. So, fertilizer very low requirement, no chemical spray requirement. Their environmental footprint is very small compared to other crops. And not just that, if there is any crop, at least in my experience, I come from the southern peninsula in India. As I said at the beginning, we are exposed to frequent droughts. That's more common than a normal season. If there is one crop that is standing last in a year of drought, that is millets. So it's drought resilient. And hence, when you talk about climate change, at least from my point of view, I want the millets in my basket as my solution as I prepare for climate change, climate resilient, as a, it's a climate smart crop as well. And just one, another quick point, in my experience, where I come from, this is also attested by research institutions, there is no other high quality fodder like millet fodder that is available in our experience. So it's very nutritive fodder as well. So hence, we have been running this Smart Foods campaign. We have, what we have done is we have brought together various stakeholders, research institutes like Ikrisan, like Indian Institute of Millet Research, like Swaminathan Foundation, private companies, government. So we have brought together a group, a coalition of interested parties who are now leading the Smart Foods campaign uh, in India, uh, at least in our state. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it is getting uh, good traction and, and, and uh, there is a lot of good response. So in order to bring all the stakeholders together, uh, we organized trade fairs. We did one earlier this year. We are doing a much bigger one uh, next year uh, in January. So if you really want to see and see for yourself what I have said, has got any ground truth in, you are welcome to come and check us out in January, it's in Bangalore uh, in, in, in India, and you can see the buzz that we have created. We can, you can see for yourself the cycle we have created and how it is uh, working very well. We are looking to scale it up as well, so we welcome any partners, we have come, uh, help from uh, all you people. So, coming back to your question, so here is a Something that's good for our Can health. Wrap up in one yes, no, half a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, coming back to you, you asked the question something that's good for our health, good for the health of the planet. Here is millet, which is good for our health, good for the health of the planet. Not just that, I add you one more it's good for the farmer as well, particularly the small, marginal farmer who is stuck with very poor soils. So, it is a smart food in our view. I think this is something we should all have. So, hence, Government of India has actually proposed that 2018 be the year of International Year of Millets. So, that's something for everybody to mull about. So, we welcome you to join in our campaign. And if any questions later on, we'll address those. Thank you.